So Jacob, thanks for joining RCR Wireless News today at SUP46. You're our uh, CTO of Fishbrain, right? Yeah, exactly. So tell us about the company, what you do, and then we'll do a demo in a few minutes. Sure. Well, Fishbrain is really simple. It's all about helping anglers, people who are into sports fishing, to actually catch more and bigger fish. So they want to know where to go, they want to know when to go there, and they want to know what gear to buy. And they also want the ability to kind of brag about their catches and share it with the world. Mm -hmm. and that's what fish brain is all about. Because okay. this is like the, it's in the genes of sports fishing. So when were you founded? And tell us a little bit about how you've been yeah. financing operations up to this date. Yeah, we uh, it started as like a hobby project for one of the founders a few years ago. He uh, he had this Excel sheet that he shared with his friends where they entered all the catches they made. Like how how did we catch this? Where was it? And so on. And they tried to figure out like what's the what's the code here how do we crack this thing right. uh, and then they went on to create like a web forum where more people joined in and wanted to share and figure these things out and obviously they realized well it should be mobile because when you're fishing you don't have a computer and you can't take photos and do things in real time right so we thought like uh, it should be something like runkeeper or something along mm -hmm. those lines mm -hmm. but for fishing uh, so almost two years ago or one and a half years ago um, it turned into a, a full-time project uh, for the founders. Back then they raised some money, they left their jobs, uh, and I joined them uh, slightly after that as the first like technical person uh, in-house, and we started building a team and so on. And now we're about a dozen, uh, 13 people to be exact. Uh, All here at SUP46? Uh, there's a few people in Gothenburg on the west coast, okay. and we have one moving in from Helsinki, mm -hmm. uh, but uh, most of us are here, yeah. And what's the program written in? Uh, what, what, and what kind of coders do you look for? Uh, we do iOS and Android mm -hmm. uh, on, uh, for the app, and then we uh, do lots of things at the back end. We, uh, we're trying to build like a a service-oriented architecture where the entire backend can be built using different technologies. So we use things like Ruby and Go and Node.js. So mm -hmm. it's a variety of, of technologies. Always the best tool for the task, so to speak. Okay. And uh, last year you, um, you you were in San Francisco for a, a, a launch event. Tell us right. about the event and, and what resulted from that event. Yeah, actually, I, I can't tell you too much about it because I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I missed it. But uh, I mean, in, in general, we've had really good press and, and people seeing the app all over the place and lots of anglers trying it out. The U.S. is our biggest market, for example, so of course it makes sense to be there. Okay. But I, I can't, give, okay. <laughs> can't give you any details well, give about us a, that. Give us a presentation. Show yeah, us how the product sure works. So, uh, it could say that it all starts out with, when, when you first find it, uh, I think the main use case for someone who starts fish brain here, is to just see what, what's happening on the water right now. Because you're on the phone, you have downloaded an app, you're, you're not out fishing right now, apparently. So then we have this like explore view where you can see the area. Now we're all around Stockholm here. and we Fresh can... water and salt water, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. all of it. So we can click uh, some water here, this Nes Bivikem, for example. And if I look at that one, we can see exactly like uh, 1,600 people following this place. It's like when you uh, you follow people, but in Fishbrain you also follow locations, so right. you can see what's happening right. there. And then we can see all the catches here. Uh, people who added the picture of the, the fish they caught, and uh, uh, yeah, just putting it next to something to see mm -hmm. how big it is. Mm -hmm. And they reported the weight, the length, the time, the lure used, the weather is inputted automatically. Mm -hmm. So there's like tons of data here related to the catch. And you can browse and, and see what everyone's doing and try to go around Stockholm here and see which place seems nice, where do you seem to catch a lot and, and, and so on. Or maybe find the places where people haven't caught so Let's much. Let's say you're so. going, can you, you said you're one of your largest markets is the United States. Can, yeah. can you look up Austin, Texas? Absolutely, absolutely. And tell us where Let's the best fishing spot is in Austin right now? Let's do it. Uh, there's Austin. So obviously I know nothing about Austin, but just from judging from this, there seems to be like a lot of catches up here. Right. Lakeway, Bear Creek. Right. If you go into that one. Yeah. A thousand followers here also. Right. And largemouth bass, lots of them being caught here. <laughs> uh, 
And we can see, for example, the yeah, largemouth bass and flathead catfish is the ones that are being caught there. Right. So then I know that, okay, if I go to this lake, I can expect these, these species. And mm -hmm. here are the best lures to use. Right. Natural seems good, like just meat mm -hmm. or uh, uh, yeah, a few different uh, bait fish. Mm -hmm. So what's your business model? How do you make money? Yeah, that's actually, I mean, so far we've only looked at the, the play parts of it. We, right. can, we can browse, we can find places, we can, uh, uh, can add our own catches and so on. But what we make money from is to actually give suggestions to, to people using the app. Uh, so uh, the, we have, if I open it here, we have uh, in our menu, we have a premium offer. Mm -hmm. I don't think I... This user has not paid, so I, I cannot show it right here. Right. But the idea is to provide insights. If, if you pay for this, uh, you, get, you get the best fishing spots and the, the, you get a, the you, secret lures. Yeah, you, you get two things currently. You, you get a bunch of graphs showing uh, uh, like over the, t the course of the day and over different locations and so on. Uh, when do people actually catch the most? Okay. Uh, and the second thing we're working on right now, which we will release in a few weeks, is a machine learning algorithm. Mm -hmm. We have been running together with a, a professor from the university here, uh, or developed together with him, in order to figure out... Actually, I can show you here what it looks like, uh, since it's not in production yet. So it's a screen that's going to look like this. So you go to a fishing area and you choose your, the species that you would like to catch. Right. For example, the channel catfish here. And then it's going to show you for this area of the map, based on the current weather, the time of year and so on, uh, and the weather forecast uh, and tide and, and all these natural, uh, uh, natural parameters, when will it be a good time to go out and fish for this, this species? So it will show us here uh, in three hour intervals, like between 12 and 15 mm -hmm. and in the middle of the night and so on, when, when it's actually a good time to go fishing. And this has been proven to, to be correct uh, uh, as contrasted to a lot of these apps that are out there, right. that are fishing calendars, mm -hmm. which are just made up bogus generally. While this is based on hundreds of thousands of catches in our database. So we're basing it on actual catches from actual people sharing and becoming more knowledgeable together and then uh, creating these uh, aggregated insights mm -hmm. that we sell back to people. What are some of the key metrics that you use to, to, to measure the business? Uh, is it number of users, number of fishing spots? What, what, uh, what are the key metrics? Yeah, <coughs> obviously it's a social app, so it's a lot of those typical things like uh, 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 user engagement mm -hmm. uh, of different var varieties, uh, how many catches are added, yep. how much uh, do people like each other's stuff, how much do they comment uh, and, and consume content. So it's the typical uh, content creators, content curators and content consumers, which all have to be in balance. Mm -hmm. So we measure catches, we measure uh, yeah, comments. Well, and well, Location-based service is clearly embedded in this, but how granular yeah. can you be in terms of exactly where fish right. are being caught on the stream yeah. around on the open water yeah uh, there's two aspects to that i think that one is technical but one is also uh, the secretive side to it mm -hmm. all people don't want to reveal their locations and so on so we we actually have a setting in the app to uh, to allow you to choose whether or not you want to reveal the location at all if you want to reveal the the lake name or the general area or if you want to release the uh, the exact location so you can choose and and obviously in in case that the exact location doesn't work because of technical reasons then we just fall back to the next one up okay. and and to be honest people don't really look at the exact locations it's all about the lake you go to mm -hmm. and so we're here at sub 46 why mm -hmm. does your company locate here and what's what's had the greatest impact on your company by being here mm -hmm. um, well, it, it was kind of a given to, to join. We've been here since the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's like just a hub for, for startups in Stockholm these days. Especially if you're in a, an early phase like we are. Then this is the place where you meet the most people that are having the same kind of challenges and, and so on. Great. So it just makes sense. Good.